Hello friends, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to, to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. I'm here for hashtag stencil with us and this is an open collab uh, hosted by Susan from Susan Kyle's Art and myself. So uh, yeah, I can't believe it's the third uh, like crafty week of this collab already tomorrow or today and next week is the last week was at, which is actually a bonus because April has uh, five Friday. What is it? Five Fridays. So um, yeah, it's stencil. This week is the prompt is use something that is not a stencil as a stencil and make a pocket for a journal page or for a journal. So I'll show you. I'm going to show you what I did. I've already kind of done it, but I'll show you, kind of tell you how I did it and show you how they came out. Uh, let's see. So if you haven't if you haven't heard of this before or you heard of it and you haven't had a chance to join in, it's not too late. You can join in any time. You can um, catch up in one video. You can just do whatever, any prompt you want, like just do this week um, or, you know, just do next week. Or, you know, if you wanted to do, to, to, you know, today's prompt on Saturday, that's okay too. You just, you know, have some fun, do some um, stenciling and uh, use the hashtag so we can find you or let us know so we can add you to our you know, add your channel or your Instagram to our list in our description boxes. And uh, if you would please link Susan and I's channels, that would be awesome. And be a subscriber to both of us. That would be awesome too, you know. We we all like to help each other. We When we have someone new, of course, we go over and join their channel if we're already not already subscribed. So we're all kind of just connecting here. So let me show you what I did. I'm going to try to remember here because I already, I already did it. <laughs> I was, um, I, it was taking a long time to finish a page. So I wanted to go ahead and finish so you could see the finished products. Let me turn it this way. Maybe you can, maybe that would be better for the camera, uh, to see th this way. So here I started with this one and what I did was this is coffee. This is mostly coffee dyed paper here, or it is all co coffee dyed paper. So for this one, I folded the paper in half so I could find the middle and then I just put this uh, doily. This is what I really wanted to try. I've had this in my head for so long and never sat down to do it. So I needed this. This That's what's good about collabs. It, you know, it gets you to do things that you want to do sometimes that you never take time to do, right? So, um, yeah, I just, once I found the middle, I just kind of put this centered my little doily here. I used, uh, for all of these stencils, except for one, I'm going to show you the one I didn't use it on, but or I tried to use it, it didn't come out so great, so I tried something else. But this is um, Ranger Archival Ink, the coffee uh, ink, and I always buy, I don't have a lot of ink, but whenever I do buy an ink, like I have this one and like one other one, and then I have a blue one that someone gifted me. And so, but whenever I buy one, I go ahead and buy the refill, so that, you know, you don't, you know, because they, they seem like they need a ink, you know, a lot of the time, so I like to put a little bit on there when I'm starting a project. I used a lot of it tonight. I'm going to have to go ahead and probably get me another refill just to make sure I don't run out cuz I use, that's my main that's my main ink whenever I want to do anything like stenciling. So, and I like that coffee color, but any kind of brown would be good. Whatever kind of brown colors you like if you like that coffee dyed uh, look. So, anyway, I did that and I just I used this brush on all of them. I picked uh, one or two of these up at Dollar Tree and then I also got received some in Happy Mail, a couple or two or three or whatever it was. So, yeah, there's different different uh, shapes of the brushes. I used this little one since I was going into little spaces, and so I just went around. You can see how the doily is now distressed, <laughs> but and this is how this one turned out, which was really cool. I really like that. And uh, you know, I wasn't trying to be perfectionistic on it or anything, but I did want it to get as much ink as I could in all the spaces. And so I think that came out really pretty and that's kind of what I was picturing and, and it came out really nice. So that was the first one. And then I tried this little heart here, uh, just a little pink heart. And this is really thin. This is a little heart doily from Dollar Tree and you know how their doilies are pretty thin, but I actually think that worked well for and I'll show you in a second another one I used it which was I think it because it's a thicker doily was actually made it a little harder but um because this is so thin it made it easy to get the ink in between and through the paper this doily so here's this one I put a little half heart on each side here 
of this coffee dyed paper. So I hope you can see it came out really nice. I think it's really pretty again. So I really like that. And I've never done this before. I have stenciled before with stencils, but never with a heart doily. So I think this is really cool. So this one, let's see. Let me see what I have here. Yeah, this is the one I need to show you next, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this one, I, you know, I use the same technique with the brush and the ink all, for all of them. So you got that. And I just got uh, pressed hard or, you know, and this one, uh, this one was the one I used with the thicker doily. So this one I used this uh, placemat here. And at first I thought I was just going to do the edges. Like I was just going to do, put the edge on the edge and do the two edges. But then I wanted, wanted an all over, decided I wanted an all, all over look. So I just moved this around. And did this all over, you know, up here. I put some up here, did, did this space down here. And see how it has these little spaces right here that are not open. You know, they're closed little spaces on the doily. I didn't like how that left a big, you know, kind of blank spot. So I just moved this around and just filled in all the whole page here. And then this one came out like this. So I like that. Another stencil, you know, another stencil design. I think it's really cool and fun. It was a lot of fun. So yeah, that was cool. And then this copy dye paper. So that was that one. And this is the thicker doily. So I felt like I had a harder time getting the ink through there. Okay, but I, I did it. I managed. <laughs> so uh, let me grab a tissue here real quick. So uh, this one I used, um, I had this paper pad here. Let me see, let me get the one I used on top so I used this and these are I used two of these and this one here was uh, they're from this paper pad here which I picked up at Tuesday morning a while ago and it's uh, called letters from home and it's by D I think what was it DCWV DCWV that's the brand name letters from home it's a nice pack of uh, double-sided scrapbook paper but it had these, a few of these in here. See this little, here's one here. I haven't taken out yet. So I thought, you know, when I thought of stenciling, I thought, well, that's not a stencil, but it would be really cool to stencil with that, I thought. And it was. So this one has bigger spaces, as you can see. You know, not, not little tiny spaces, but bigger spaces. So this one I put down and just stenciled all over. And that also came out very pretty. I think it's actually very gorgeous and and I was able to get the ink in the spaces you know you can see the darker you know it kind of just came out like that I didn't really plan on the shading see how this is light over here and darker but it just came out like that so that's that's I like that in stenciling I like the different you know shading of the uh, the ink like that so that's a really cool one too so that's an idea for um, what you can do with these if you have a paper pad like that with these uh, cut pieces in there, you can use it for a stencil. So yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I think I'm gonna keep those and use those for a stencil. Let's see, the one that was in there was it the same as this one that I pulled out here? Yeah, it's the same I think as this. No, it's a little different, but it's very similar. It's a little different. Well, I don't know. It's, it's so sim. It's it's probably the same. Anyway, so that was one with this bigger stencil with the bigger spaces. So I'm going to put those down there together because I showed you that. And then I did this one, and that was with this other one with the smaller spaces. I really like his, how this looks, too. It's all, I got ink all over this, and I really like how that looks. I might have to do something with that one day when I don't want to use it for a stencil anymore. <laughs> but... Uh, I think that came out really pretty and again the shading you can see the darker and the lighter like leaves and flowers and things so I hope you can see it anyway I think it's really let me hold up a little closer there maybe you can see it I think you probably can but uh yeah I think that's really pretty so I like how that I like how they all came out so that was a lot of fun I've got one more to show you and that's what we're supposed to make a pocket this week for a journal or a journal page so I thought I would use a paper bag to make my pocket. So I was trying to stencil on this paper bag. I cut the end off here. 
I was going to make a pocket out of the end, but I didn't like how that came out. It's right here. Let me show you. Let me show you. This little piece I cut off and I stenciled on here, but I didn't I didn't really like it. I kept cutting and cutting it. It got smaller and smaller, so it didn't really come out how I wanted it to. So that was kind of a, I don't know, I might be able to use it for something, but, uh, you know, it was kind of a fail, I thought. But then I took this piece, I cut a straight line across here with my edge scissors, these, just these little scissors here, and I was trying to stencil on it, and I could, I was picking up my stencil and peeking underneath, and it wasn't really coming out how I pictured so it was uh, this one again, this one that I just showed you with the small, you know, has a lot of spaces on here. And, oh, that's why this is so dark, too. I had this right here on my paper bag. So that's why that's so dark, because I used a different ink. I'm going to show you what I used. So I used, um, so I have some of this. This was given to me as a gift. Um, some of this uh, from, was it Christmas or birthday or something? Distress Oxide uh, Spray. It's, uh, I'm trying to see the color. Do I have a color on here? Village, oh, Vintage Photo. Okay, this Vintage Photo, I didn't realize. Okay, and that's, that's my other ink that's beside this coffee archival ink. I have Vintage Photo, of course. And then I have the Vintage Photo in the spray. Okay, I didn't realize that. I have that, I had that for a while. I didn't realize that one was Vintage Photo. But uh, it wasn't coming out with the stenciling, you know, with this ink. So I said, well, let me get my spray. I didn't want to get messy, but I have these protectors on here. You can see I'm going to have to take them in the other room and wash them off. But, um, yeah, I left the stencil on there right where I, had, where I had it and just, you know, shook this. You have to shake these up. There's a little ball or something in there that um, mixes it up real good. So I shook it up. I sprayed it on here, and this is how it came out. And I was like, oh, my goodness, that is gorgeous, you know. And it's, it's really cool because the end of the bag is right here where it originally opened. And it has the, the stencil over on this part. And I was like, wow, I really love that. So um, I have a, you know, any, this is just, this just started out as a brown paper bag. It's kind of a, uh, I'm going to say it's a little thinner than a lunch bag, brown paper bag. But I do, I think I do still have some of these in my shop. I think they were originally bread bags. They're long and narrow. And um, I picked some up, I picked a bunch up actually at a um, thrift store. And I think I have some in here in my craft room. I have some in my shop. But I just grabbed this because I thought it would make a good pocket. So I can put this in a journal and I can just kind of uh, fold it either way and have a pocket, you know, on either side of the journal. You know, when you fold it in half in a signature, there you go. Or I could always cut it up into pockets, you know, this way. Or I could even do this. Uh, you know, but if I cut it in half, that's what it would look like as a pocket. So I thought that this has got it. This is my by far my favorite right here because it's so uh, really, um, you know, so you can just really see it really well. So, but I really love the other ones too. So I would like to um, try to remember to do this more often uh, because it's just uh, so fun and it was quick. And look how it came out, just so cool and something really different to maybe put in your journals than you than you usually do, right? So um, that's it for my video. I hope you enjoy, uh, you know, jumping in and do it at home if you don't want to do a YouTube video or you don't have a channel, right? Or you don't want to do Instagram, maybe you don't do Instagram. If you have a Facebook, you can go over and post, join. If you're not joined, join Studio 28E. It's a really nice, calm stress non-stressful drama free <laughs> facebook group and uh just post your photo over there it's it's been a pre-approved that you can but you do have to join and answer the questions then you're pre-approved to go ahead and post a photo in there as soon as you join just jump right in there and i'd love to see your your photos over there if you don't if you can't post on youtube and Instagram. So thanks for watching today. I'm super excited to see what everybody does and uh, I'll see you in my next video. So have a great day and I'll see you later. Happy crafting.